Hello students. Today we will solve a problem on NP chart. So what they have given? So in a production unit 15 lots. So the lot size is 15 and 400 items that is the sample size are subjected to 100% inspection and the number of defectives found in each subgroup are given here so here this is the np value that is the number of defectives which are given in this table so there are 15 lots and 400 items so they are asking us to compute process average for np chart and they are asking us to compute the trail limits for the np chart and to draw the np chart and what is the conclusion which we are drawing from the data and the chart as well as we have to provide the revised process average and control limit if the process is out of statistical control. So first of all what is the data given for solution data given. So if M is the lot size and np dash that is the process average we do not know we have to calculate it then sigma of n is equals to n into m where they have given n is equal to 400 that is the sample size so 400 into 15 that is 6000 now they are asking us to draw the np chart and derive the conclusion as well as to provide the revised process average and control limit. So then we know that P is equals to sigma of NP divided by sigma of N. So here we know sigma of N. We have to calculate the sigma of NP. So NP values are given. So we have to add it up 2 plus 5 plus 14 plus 3 plus 1 plus 18 plus 6 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 so we have to find the sigma value sigma of np is equals to 65 so when we add this up we will get 65 so that is nothing but 65 divided by 6000 so p value is 0 0.0 108. So now we have got p value. To find the np value, this is the p dash value we have found. Now we want the np value. So 400 into 0 0.0108, which will give us 4.32. So np dash value is 4.3. So now to calculate the control limits of this NP chart. So that is NP dash plus or minus 3 into root of NP dash to 1 minus P dash. So here we have got NP dash value. First of all, let us calculate the upper control limit of NP. So, NP dash plus 3 into root of NP dash into 1 minus P dash. So, this will give us, so NP value we have found as 4.32 plus 3 into root of 4.32 into 1 minus 0 0.0108 so the upper control limit is 10.52 let us consider it is approximately equal to 11 now the lower control limit for np chart is given by np dash minus 3 into root of np dash to 1 minus p dash so 4.32 minus 3 into root of 
0.0108. So this value is minus 1.88. So there can be no meaning, there is no meaning in negative defective. That is why we will consider this lower control limit as 0. I will write the reason since there is no meaning in negative defective so p dash value we have found as 0 0.0108 and p dash is 4.32 upper control limit is 11 and lower control limit is 0 so now we will draw the chart so we have seen this is the lot size on the x axis that is the lot number so here 15 samples are taken and this is the number of defectives on the y axis number of defectives now for the first sample or first lot the value is 2 so i have marked it here then for the second one it is 5 which is marked here for the third one it is 0 that is this is the lower control limit which is marked as 0 and we can see that 11 is the upper control limit which has to be marked on this 11 point so upper control limit is equals to 11. So we can see that after we have finished plotting each and every lot number according to its defective. So for 5 it is 3, for 6 it is 0, for 7 it is 1, for 8 again it is 0, for 9 it is 18 which is somewhere here. Then for 10 it is 6 for 11 also it is 6 which is marked here then we have for 12 again it is 0 for 13 it is 3 for 14 it is 0 again for 15 it is 6 so after we have finished marking all these points we find that there are two points which are lying above the upper control limit so what do we conclude from this chart so we can observe from the NP chart that the NP values of lot number 4, okay, for lot number, lot number 4, you can see the value is 14 and for lot number 9, the value is 18. So they are exceeding the upper control limit which is indicating the presence of assignable causes and hence this process is not under statistical control. So conclusion, it can be observed from the chart that the NP values For lot number 4 and lot number 9 are exceeding the upper control limit line that is value 11 and hence indicating the presence of assignable causes of variation hence this process is not in statistical control now to find the revised process average and control limits so 
so these two values that is lot number 4 and lot number 9 with values higher than the upper control limit must be homogenized so for this we have to eliminate these two values from the fraction defective so new value of fraction defective that is p dash new is given as sigma of np minus p of 4 minus p of 9 divided by that is these values that is 14 and 18 that is for the lot 4 we can see the value is 14 which is above the upper control limit so it must be eliminated from this fraction defective value and again the n values also must be removed 4 and n of 9 so in this way we will get the new p value that is 65 minus 14 minus 18 divided by 6000 minus 400 minus 400 so the p value after simplification or the p dash value we will get it as 33 divided by 5200 which is equals to 0 0.0063 so as we have found the p dash value we have to find the new np dash value so therefore np dash new value is equals to 400 into 0 0.0063 so that will give us 2.52 now we will calculate the new control limits that is the np new so the control limit for new np chart new is np dash new plus or minus 3 into sigma of np dash new into 1 minus p dash new so that is we know the np dash new value is 2.52 for the upper control limit new np or new upper control limit it is plus 3 into 2.52 into 1 minus 0.0063 so the new upper control limit is 9.86 then the lower control limit for NP chart new is 2.52 minus 3 into 2.52 1 minus 0 0.0063. So this will give us 2.32 minus 7.54 that is equal to minus 5.02. So, as there can be no negative defectives, we will consider this LCL value as 0. So, we can observe from the remaining values of NP and the new control limits for NP that all the values. So, after eliminating from this start, after eliminating the values 14 and 18 and the new control limit is upper control limit is 9.86 so it will lie somewhere here so the upper control limit new is 9.86 so from this we can see that all the points other points are lying within the control limit so we can say that the process is bought under control so therefore we will write it as the the revised values are process average control limits 
upper control limit is that is new value is 9.86 and lower control limit is 0. So this is all about the NP chart. We have also revised the process average and control limits for the chart which was out of control and after the revised values we see that this process is brought under control. So this is all about the NP chart problem. I hope you have understood the problem. Thank you.